Here are the top two most scalable online business models in 2023 and going into 2024. In this video, I'm going to be giving you guys the pros and cons of starting an agency and getting into the coaching business. They are both two separate business models and one is a lot more profitable. So stay until the end where I go over exactly how the profit margins work. And so guys, the first business is an agency. The good thing about agencies is anyone can start an agency. Anyone can get into the agency game, start fulfilling a service, and the best part is they don't need to know how to do the actual service. One of the really great things about scaling an agency is called service arbitrage. Essentially, you don't need to know how to do the actual fulfillment, you just need to hire someone to handle it. So essentially what I do is I go learn how to acquire clients, usually using paid ads and sending out cold DMs and all of that. Now we're running with just ads. And then the second part is handling and fulfilling the service. What I do is I go find people typically overseas that know how to handle the service. So essentially for us, we own a content agency doing $100,000 a month and I've never edited a video in my life. I've never touched a single video. I've never actually dove into how to do it because I understood the value of time. My editors, spend three, four hours editing a video just to go get one video done, where I would rather, instead of learning that skill set, I would rather go learn how to acquire more clients. And so one of the really good things is you can start an agency, you can be brand new to this game, and you can literally just go find someone overseas to handle the service. You can be really good at marketing yourself and talking to a lot of people and just getting them to buy your service and not even handling the back end. You just have to build up a team and really start scaling up and making sure that the quality of work remains amazing because you're not the one doing yet. But let's talk about the biggest con. To scale an agency, you need a big team. You need to scale up and it requires more work, more time, more energy. And the hard part about it is the majority of agencies have a profit margin of about 40 to 50%. And so every $100 you make, $50 of it goes to your team. And it sounds nice in theory until you're making $100,000 a month and 50,000 of it goes straight to your team, towards ads, towards all these things, and that's before taxes. And so that's one of the biggest cons about starting an agency. You have to have a big team as you scale, the profit margins keep getting eaten up, and honestly, starting it and scaling an agency sucks the life out of you. At a certain point, you just feel drained and like you're working for your clients versus working with your clients. And so this is essentially a done for you model and your clients expect the world out of you and that's okay, but it's just unreal. It's unreal and it drains the hell out of you. And so the second model, let's talk about the second model. The second model is an online coaching model and this model is far more scalable with profit margins around 80 to 90%. So every hundred dollars you make, you keep $90 of it. I don't know about you, but that sounds way nicer than that 40-50% profit margin. One thing I really love about the coaching game is I get to go take my skill set that I use to build a $100,000 content agency and go give it to people and give them my systems, give them everything. And when people go implement it, and they go start making money and then they buy their time back, there's no better feeling. So one of the biggest pros about coaching is 90% profit margins. And the second one is it is extremely fulfilling. So I don't know about you, but I was setting all my goals to be around money. I was like, once my agency hits $50,000 a month, I'm gonna be happy. Once my agency hits $75,000 a month, I'm gonna feel like I made it. Once my agency hits $100,000 a month, I'm gonna feel like I'm on top of the world. And then I hit that number and I'm like, eh, What's next? And then you keep setting a higher number and you start realizing that like there has to be a more fulfilling thing to do. There has to be something else that you do that actually changes lives and helps others. And so coaching is that thing. Coaching is where you take the skill set that you have in here and you pour it out onto others. Boris, I implemented this new strategy and I launched ads and now I made $60,000. I'm like, dude, that feels so good. When someone's like, Boris, I changed out my systems and I used your systems and now everything's automated, that feels really good for me. And so one of the things I started chasing is fulfillment. And when I started chasing fulfillment, I started understanding that like the more fulfilled I feel, the more I help people and the more it just feels good inside, the more more money I make. It's weird how that happens. When you change your goals around what you're chasing to be more about the fulfillment and helping others actually achieve a goal versus a revenue goal, you start making so much more money and you become happier in business. And so those are the two models that I think are the most scalable in 2023 and 2024. But if you have a certain skill set and you know what you're doing, 
I would go and start a coaching business. And if you don't want to go fully into the coaching space and you currently have an agency, add a coaching aspect to it. And what I mean by that is hop on one-on-one -on -one calls with your clients and see how you could help them. Give them some advice, give them some feedback, look at what they're doing, see what they could do to improve and start building that rapport with your clients because that will lead to a higher retention with your clients and that will lead to practice for when you do want to get into the coaching space. Because let me tell you, the coaching space is a game changer. And so guys, that's my honest feedback. I literally have an agency doing $100,000 a month. I have a new coaching business that's thriving and clients are getting wins. And one thing I wish I knew earlier is go all in on coaching because my agency right now has about 20 employees and my coaching offer has two employees and the coaching offer is 10 times more scalable with 10 times less employees. So think about that. I have to go manage 20 employees for the agency just to go and get a 50% margin and deal with all this headache of checking in with the team, making sure everything's running properly, making sure that nothing shady is going on in the company just to make less money than the coaching business. It just doesn't make sense. That's my honest feedback, guys. I hope that helps. So if you're looking to start an agency or scale your agency, or if you're looking to scale a coaching business, that's my honest feedback. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys on the next one.